Would you describe just what the morning's been like around the rink? Uh, lots of energy, uh, lots of smiles. I think the dads are looking forward to seeing their boys play live. Um, and so are the coaches, because every year they seem to bring us a lot of good fortune. <clears throat> You know, saying that record, how do you keep it going? Is it actually what's the what's the stat? Nine zero and one plus twenty seven goal differential, Bruce, all, right, all time. That's, good. Yeah, no pressure. that's uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I can't explain it. I mean, I, could, I I know that specifically two years ago we went to Minnesota and Nashville. We were hurting going into that break, uh, physically and mentally. And when we came out of it, the dads were there. And we had two, I think it was two five to one games where everyone was playing well. Sort of kickstarted us, I think, to this road to winning the cup to be honest with you we finished strong the second half started believing in each other again um, and uh, the dads had a lot to do with that so hopefully um, it's a little early to say that at this point of the year but uh, like I said our guys obviously like playing in front of their dads what do you guys do to get to the road games out of the next eight on the road what do you, what do you well I mean it's 60 minutes it's the let uh, fewer letdowns Seattle I thought we started well did a lot of things well offensively we're clicking but I think three goals we mismanaged the puck, so those are certainly correctable. We have to be better simply making better plays with the puck, uh, more responsible plays with the puck. I don't think our overall game was poor there, so it started to turn the corner. Edmonton was very good, I thought, in terms of start to finish for the most part. Well, if we had a bad stretch, we got out of it. I do believe a key save at the right time in Edmonton really matters. Uh, certainly the start of the third on Arvidsson was a big one. So let's minimize those opportunities that our goalie has to make those big saves. We, you know, what was the goal, the third goal in Seattle, right? It was kind of a broken play, but they got the goal, right? That's one. Those are the plays we need to make, I think, in a timely fashion. And, and we put out a fire, whether it's a goalie or a team defense, whatever it is. Uh, and I think we'll be, be fine. What do you think has allowed Jack to keep this production pace up? Well, he's healthy. Um, you know, he's missed the odd maybe maintenance day for practice, so I think he's feeling good about his game. He's been working on his game. I think playing with Mark Stone helped at the start of the year a lot. Um, Mark's not in right now. I thought Holtz came in and did a good job the other day. So I think Jack's just uh, probably also at a stage in his career where he looks around and we lost some people. He wants to take a bigger step, especially with the Knights, right? He won a cup and played a huge part in that. But now he looks around and probably says, hey, these guys are relying on me. We've lost a few guys. Carly was out. So um, that's a maturity level, too, that uh, you oh, know, he's, he's taken on and to become more of a leader. And it's going to transpire on the ice because he's so good.